Canada is always giving. Canada is always, you know, putting out, you know, options out there. And this is one that I want to show you. Hey folks, you're welcome. This is your one and only Waka Waka Doctor. Always bring you the best gist when it comes to moving abroad. You know how we do it on this channel. We share information that has to do with moving, living, working, studying abroad. Uh, the different pathways to moving abroad and that is all I share on this channel. A few things before I bring you the hot gist, uh, just like I always give it to you. Ta, 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 ta. Uh, the first is that number one, um, I am not on WhatsApp. I am not on Telegram. So if you find people dropping comments in the comment section saying, call me on this number. I am Waka Waka Doctor. Please, it is not me. The only way to reach me is in the description box of this video. Number two is to say that uh, about six, seven months ago, I wrote a book, a book titled Move Abroad by Force. The idea behind the book is to help you be able to process um, everything that has to do with travel on your own. You do not need to employ an agent. You do not need to pay people to do it for you. You can do it on your own if you read this book and it has step-by-step -step process involved. The book is very affordable. Uh, there's a link in the description box again um, that explains how you can acquire the book. For those who are going to ask, what is the description box? I'm going to just show you this short clip that explains the description box. It's just a drop down about the information of this video where you can see different things that I've written there. And most links are usually put in there. All right. Now, everybody, everybody knows that the top number one, number one, number one spot uh, for moving abroad is Canada. If you put 10, 15, 20 people in a room, uh, what am I saying? Put 100 people in a room and ask them, where do you want to go to? Where do you want to move to? You are likely to have 70, 75% of these people say Canada. And Canada is always giving. Canada is always, you know, putting out, you know, options out there. And this is one that I want to show you. You can move to Canada without a degree. You can do it without a degree. You can do it easily. And there's a lot of funding involved. And um, just as I always do, I don't talk about these things by myself. So you don't say, oh, it's Waka Waka Doctor that is sharing this thing and he's just, you know, creating things on his own. That's why I invite people who've got the experience, people who have uh, the know-how, people who are in these countries to come and share with you because, um, when I mean, it's it's more likely that you believe them. So I've got my guest, a very beautiful lady who is um, energetic, and um, she will share with us um, all the steps you need to take. Let me give her an, um, the opportunity to introduce herself. Hello, how are you? Hi, Waka Waka Doctor. It's good to see you. Thank you very much for coming. You're smiling, you're smiling. Everybody's going to start commenting. Ah! They never tell me how handsome I am on my own channel. It's usually my oh. guest. They tell, oh, your guest is beautiful. Your guest is handsome. They never tell me I'm beautiful. Because maybe you're always dancing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quickly, do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us your name, where you are, and what you do. Okay. Um, thank you once again for inviting me, Waka Waka Doctor. Hi, everyone. My name is Soma. Or maybe you know me as the summer, you know, so uh, maybe that I am currently living in Canada and I'm an educational consultant and a PhD student as well. Thank fantastic. You. Fantastic. There you go. Um, tell us, you have various social media handles. Um, do you want to tell us your various <laughs> social media? You're, you're, you have a huge presence on social media. So tell us your social media handles. Yeah, so on Instagram, I go by the name The Summer You Know, so The Summer You Know, and that's the same with my YouTube channel, The Summer You Know. But then on Twitter, because of the character limits, I cannot have The Summer You, Y-O-U, no. So it's The Summer You, as in you, just you, yeah. alphabet, you, no. So yeah, that's okay, right. Okay, amazing. Thank you very, very much. All right, let's get to the gist of this discussion. There's a pathway that a few people might not be familiar with, but it has to do with Canada, where, you know, it's, it's so juicy. I, I, I don't want to talk about it. I want them to hear from you. But you've said that you can move to Canada without a degree. Break it down for us. Tell us. Yeah, sure. So you can come to Canada without a degree. It's that simple. So if you just have a high school certificate, right? 
So in back in Nigeria or Ghana, it's WAEC, but in other countries, they are high school certificates. So if you have just that, that's the only degree that you have. That's the only certificate that you have, not a degree. You can actually come to Canada. However, if you also have a degree, that's fine. But that doesn't mean that they're going to take you that have a degree over someone that has just a certificate. No, because there is no requirement for this pathway. Now, this pathway is you coming to Canada to study for 10 months, fully funded by this school. And after 10 months, as you're studying, you're doing what we call like a placement. They're trying to teach you how to do the job, okay? So when you're done with the placement, you write an exam, they give you a certificate, and then you get to work for the government for two years. I know by now they are wondering which government, what program are we talking about? Don't they require IELTS? Don't they require a whole lot? Nope, they don't. The only thing they need you to upload is that certificate that shows that you went to high school okay you don't need any skill hmm. at all so it's not about oh you need to have in this position for like a year or two no because they're going to groom you they're going to train you so that's part of the program okay so you don't need all of that so no experience now, required no experience whatsoever no experience and guess what no age limit so you can be forty because I, I mean, I went to this province to interview tons of people who are doing the program, okay? And one of them is in his 50s. So imagine someone in his 50s coming to do a program. Does that not sound to you like, oh, because I know some people say, oh, if I'm 50, I can't come to Canada, they might not give me visa. Not for this program, because this program is a special one it's not everywhere all right so you've mentioned the fact that there's no need for ielts no age limit no experience required so what are the documents needed for this application very simple your high school certificate if you have a degree you can upload your degree transcripts or the certificate you don't even need a reference that is to tell you how this program you know there's this whole oh my god how can i contact a professor or my lecturer to get me reference you don't need that okay so what you just need is just all i've just mentioned okay now you need your best certificate because i mean they need to also very check okay? yeah. exactly you also need your passport which is very important because they're going to ask you specific questions like have you been denied visa before? If you say yes, they're going to have to send that to your profile to their team. That's going to make sure that you know it's not going to be a problem when you apply. Okay, so it, that's why you need your passport to be there, right? Then, based on the answer you give them, if you are denied before, they will ask you for you to upload your denial letter. So, if you apply to three countries and they denied you, you're going to upload those three letters okay so they will also ask you questions like reason for the denial even though there is a document to show that so you see that there is no serious document yeah that they require transcript except you want to upload your degree right and even if you don't have your transcript you can upload your certificate but in my own opinion i would say it's better that if you cannot get transcript just quietly go and use your uh, uh, um certificates high school certificates right so that's just it Fantastic. i see people who upload a whole lot of things but that's cool they don't even they, i would well as we are going on i would explain to you how the website is it's very you're not asked to it's just very short in minutes you're done it's not like yes, you're done. so what, and you don't need sop let me just add that you don't need sop that statement of purpose you don't need that you don't also need sop <laughs> you don't need that Wow, wow, you don't need an SOP as you well. Amazing. Um, because of time and because we want to keep this very, very short so that people get information, I'm just going to ask you two questions. Number one is, what is the website? How can people access the website to apply on their own if they want to do it? So I'm going to provide you with the link, but the, I'll talk about the name of the school and where it's located. Okay, the name of the school is called Oxford International College. Okay, it's in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And let me tell you something about Nova Scotia that most people don't know, right? Nova Scotia is in the Atlantic area, and it's one of the provinces that people are encouraged to go to. One, the cost of living is very, like, it's very affordable. See, 
my friend got a two-bedroom apartment in Nova Scotia with this housing crisis that we're hearing in Canada for nine hundred dollars. Two-bedroom apartment. Wow. Me, I cannot believe it in Nova Scotia, but she did. So the cost of living is okay. So imagine you going to a place that you're not required to pay so much for rent. Okay. Now that is an easy pathway to PR because the Pro Nova Scotia province always nominates people in the pool. So imagine that your points, your CRS score is 300 or 350. As I'm talking to you now, the CRS score, the draw that they did is for 498. So I don't know when they're going to get to 350, right? And they're not coming down, they're going up. Mm. So if you have 350 and the provincial government should nominate you, they give you 600 extra points, that's automatic ITA, okay? Now, you also want to go to a place where it's easy for you to thrive. There are a lot of Nigerians there. In short, a little history about Nova Scotia is that that's the first place that Black people settled in, in Canada. Not, I didn't say, I'm not, I'm, so that's why you hear when people are saying Black Canadians, they say African Canadians, because they are, that's how you know that they're from Nova Scotia because they are the first people, okay? So it's very, very interesting. And I like Nova Scotia. I went to Nova Scotia and I spent 10 days and I'm like, wow, cost of living, everything is okay. And guess what, guys? This program does not prohibit you from coming with your dependents and all of that. You can come with your family. Is that good? And did I forget to mention, it is fully funded. Yeah, it's, talk about, talk about that, so it's free of charge. Yes, <laughs> it's 20,000 Canadian dollars and they are giving scholarships for you to just come and study and learn the job. And I don't think I've even mentioned the name of this uh, program. It is called the Continuing Care Assistance, for short, CCA. Trust me, if you're in that field in Canada, they're looking for you. Wow. Because it's a healthcare program, right? Wow, fantastic. Uh, look, guys, you know, I like to keep my videos very short, but I think you already have the gist, you know, you have the full gist. Um, there is a step-by-step -step process that is involved in applying for this. Um, and I think that the best thing for you to do is, um, Soma, tell us about your YouTube channel. I know you have a video that explains the step-by-step -step process that people can do it on their own. Yeah, so my YouTube channel is where I just post tutorials. Sometimes I just wake up in the middle of the night and I'm just trying to teach people how to apply for different scholarships. This applies to the program at Nova Scotia right now, where you can study for free. I made a video where I gave like step by step as to how you can apply, where to go, how because sometimes people don't know how to navigate this website. And guess it's not even the same application pathway is not the same with other schools and other programs so it's different okay you don't even need to i don't know how to explain this for people to understand except they see me like doing it so guys you have to check my youtube channel for that and the name of your youtube channel is the summer you know the name of our youtube channel is summer you know and she has explained the whole process of how to apply step by step so you just need to um, you just need to go there and watch on your own. If you've got questions, just drop in the comment section of that video. She would answer all your questions, okay? If you can check her out on Instagram, it's the summer you know. You can send her messages, she would respond. But I think the best way to do this is go on our YouTube channel, watch that video, drop questions, you know, all the questions you need and she'll be there to answer you. Look, it's been a pleasure having you on my show. Thank you very much for adding value. Thank you very much for telling us about this great opportunity um, that's available in Canada. Um, till I see you guys in another episode, this is Waka Waka Doctor and I'm signing out. Bye.